Quran in five minutes. Quran, which literally means a reciting, is the last and final revelation of God Almighty revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, 1450 years before. The more technical definition of Quran would be the words of Allah revealed in Arabic to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Its recitation is an act of worship and even its smallest chapter is inimitable. Many non-Muslims have a misconception that Quran is a book only meant for the Muslims or for the Arabs. In fact, Quran declares in no uncertain terms that it is a book meant to guide the whole of humanity. The glorious Quran has many unique features which makes it different from any other book in the history of mankind and thus proves its divine origin. Number 1. The Quran is inimitable. In the Quran, Allah has given an eternal challenge to the whole of mankind to produce a single chapter of the Quran which is somewhat similar to it. And the smallest chapter of the Quran which is Surah al kawsar consists of only three verses, barely ten words. More than 1450 years have passed and yet none have been able to meet this challenge. Number two, the Quran is preserved. Since the past 1450 years, the Quran has maintained and preserved both its textual and oral recitation. There has been no corruption, no alteration in its recording and its recitation unlike any other religious scripture in the world today. Number three, there are no contradictions in the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, in chapter number four, verse number 82, do they not consider the Quran with care? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, they would surely have found many contradictions. The Quran has more than 6,000 verses. Not a single verse of the Quran contradicts with the other. All the verses of the Quran are in perfect harmony with each other. Many critics of Islam have tried to point out certain seemingly contradictions in the Quran. But on reading the proper context of the verses and referring to the original language Arabic, all the criticisms are put to rest. Alhamdulillah. Number four, precise record of historical details in the Quran. The Quran mentions the historical details before its revelation with utmost precision. This is unlike any other revelation which people claim to be a word of God. Number five, prophecies fulfilled in the Quran. During the course of its revelation, Quran made many predictions, many promises and all these predictions, all these prophecies turned out to be exactly true as was mentioned by the Quran. Number six, ease of memorization of the Quran. The ease of memorization of the Quran is a miracle in its own right. Both Muslims and non-Muslims alike are amazed at the ease of its memorization from cover to cover. Irrespective of the person's geographical location, ethnicity, race, language, gender or age, all alike are able to easily recite and memorize the Quran from different parts of the world. Number seven, scientific facts mentioned in the Quran. There are more than 6,000 verses of the Quran out of which more than a thousand speak about scientific facts which the science has discovered recently. And these scientific facts were impossible for Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him to know during his time because history proves that he was an ummi. He did not know how to read and write. He did not have any formal education. So the question arises, who could have revealed these scientific facts 1450 years before in the Quran. The only answer could be the all-knowing creator of everything, Allah. The Quran mentions that all the chosen prophets of Allah right from the time of Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all, preached the same message and that is worship of one God, Allah and to submit one's will to him. So what are you waiting for? Grab a copy of the Quran from your nearest masjid or an Islamic center and know for yourself what does your creator Allah got to tell you.